If you're wondering if likes and dislikes matter on YouTube, then be sure to watch till the end as I break down exactly what likes and dislikes do to YouTube with ranking in search. Here from Devin Street. What's going on? My name's Devin Street, helping you build an online presence and make money in the process. And today we're talking about if likes and dislikes matter on YouTube. But if you're new, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. But anyway, let's get right into it. First off, let's get it out of the way. Likes and dislikes are taken the exact same in YouTube. That means likes do not help you more than dislikes and dislikes do not hurt you more than likes. In fact, they don't really matter. Here's what YouTube's taking when they're ranking you in search. They're taking your watch time. That's how many minutes has your YouTube video been watched by all the people. Then there's audience retention, how long each individual person was watching for how long and how long you kept them on that YouTube video. And also relevancy. How close is your title, tags, and description to what the person searched? I'll get into some things that kind of contradict that in a second, but first out of the way, they do not really matter at all. But when you look at your YouTube analytics, you will see that they both just count as engagement. YouTube thinks it's a good thing to have more dislikes and a good thing to have more likes. They're both engagement. But the true engagement YouTube's looking at is the watch time. That is the number one engagement out of everything when they're looking at a YouTube video. But there is one interesting thing. A YouTuber by the name of Mr. Beast actually did a test uploading two videos making them the exact same length, putting the exact same title, tags, and description in both videos, watching them for the exact same time, and only disliking one of them. And then the other one, he didn't do anything to it. Then he did a search and found that the one that had the dislike ranked higher than the one that didn't have anything to it. And here's how I'll explain that. That dislike is considered engagement. That means they interacted more with the video with the dislike than the video that didn't have the dislike. But that does not mean that these dislikes matter. It's the same thing with like being embedded onto websites and being shared a lot. It does not matter as much as watch time. It can also be true for comments. Comments don't matter at all, just like likes and dislikes. But you wanna consider this as YouTube's last resort for ranking. If two videos have the exact same title, exact same description, and exact same tag somehow, then the final resort is going to see what other engagement like comments, likes, and dislikes. So that is why that video with the dislike ranked higher than the one with nothing. That does not mean that dislikes rank you higher than anything else. He could have commented on one and did nothing to the other. The one with the comment would have ranked higher. He could have liked one and then did nothing to the other. The one with the like would have ranked higher. And it's simply just because that video had more engagement. They had the same exact watch time. YouTube had to look at it and be like, well, we have to rank by something else. We're gonna go by the engagement, which was the dislike. So to recap, they don't matter. At the end of the day, you're never gonna have the same amount of watch time and the same exact titles, descriptions, and tags as someone else. So when people are going after likes or dislikes, it does not matter. It will not rank you at all in YouTube. But if you wanna build an online presence and make money in the process, then all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and check out some of the other videos. But I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.